welcome back to the Cube at Night. I'm Shelley Kramer, and we are here broadcasting live from RSA in San Francisco. And today, tonight, I'm so happy to be joined by Amit Elizari. She's the CEO and the founder of a company called Open Policy Group. Amit, welcome. It's so glad to have you. Thank you. It's so great to be here. So you are doing something incredibly innovative. I mean, I feel like in this tech ecosystem, there's so much innovation going on. But as it relates specifically to policy and the democratization of policy and being able to work with government entities and that sort of thing, talk with me about, a little bit about what Open Policy Group is doing. Yeah, thank you, and it's a great question, Shelley. You know, everything we're seeing right now with AI, with cybersecurity, we need to understand a lot of the market is being shaped by governments. Governments releasing regulations, releasing laws, releasing best practices, really kind of shaping the way compliance is going to look. Now, if you think about it, government affairs is a very strategic business development capability. You know, at the time, once reserved to big tech, right? Right. So we are scaling access to government affairs value, the ability to see what's coming from proposed regulations, but in a way that is connected to your business and the ability to shape it and engagement. So we're a platform, we're tech enabled, we have the policy experts and we have the AI, right? And we are basically unlocking access to ability to see what's coming and actually create business uh, and tap by engaging with governments, right? And policymakers. So super exciting time for us because we see the future of the market is shaped by government, yeah. you know, the AI executive order, oh, AI regulations, and you know, we've been pretty fortunate. We've been working for a year and we work with some of the best unicorns in the world. So we are very excited. So, uh, well, I understand why. So what I think is incredibly exciting about this is that you know, for a long time, it was the enterprise companies with millions of dollars to spend on, you know, on lobbyists and all different kinds of things like that. And it sounds like what you're doing is really working to level the playing field and to enable companies of all sizes, not just multi-million dollar enterprise entities. Absolutely, that's our focus and we already, already see an impact. And the way we work, there is a piece of it, a piece of it of changing the environment to meet you, engaging with policymakers, providing the perspective, but it's also a piece of just unicorns and startups understanding where regulations is going. If they are developing a product for cybersecurity, for AI, they need to know what the customers are going to want. If they see what's coming from government, but in a way that is a lot more focused on their business, they can ha have better marketing, better product strategy, so we're excited about that. The other piece of it is the way we work is we put companies together in coalitions, right? Okay. It's about collective action. And we see that once they come together, you know, governments are really excited about hearing uh, their point of view. Yeah. So this is unfolding as we go, and we already see some great results. I just testified in Congress uh, last week. It was a big honor for me. Yeah. Uh, so we think this is the future of government affairs. Yeah. And now with AI, we can take expertise that was once reserved for 200 people in Washington DC and Brussels right. and just make it more accessible with the human in the loops for you know a whole layer of innovative companies. Oh wow, that's very exciting. So the other thing I think that I is important here is that one of the things that we talk a lot about is alliances and the importance of creating alliances. And it sounds a little bit like that's what's happening with the coalitions that you're Absolutely. creating. Because the thing of it is, is that you can go build something on your own and reinvent the wheel a thousand times and everything else. But especially if you're a startup, that is more of a challenge. So being able to work as a part of an alliance coalition, it seems to me such a smart strategic yeah. move. You know, you're spot on, Shelley. This is a key differentiation we're seeing. You can sell to government one-on-one. -on -one. Influencing government, policy making is about coalitions. It's common good. Yeah. And we have competitors coming together like Perineum and Eden Lair, two of the best AI security companies in the world. We have competitors coming together because they understand that with the coalition, we just have a much more powerful voice. Yeah. And this is a key difference. Uh, we are building with technology the ability to, to create subject-focused matter coalitions. 
Um, and we are seeing a lot of reception with policymakers to get in that perspective of innovators. I love that. Well, what haven't I asked you about that we need to know? You know, I just want to, we are so excited about our partnership, about uh, what's going on in RSA. Yeah. And RSA is the, the top cybersecurity conference in the world. I just want to empower, you know, your community of listeners. We have some of the best investors, innovators, yeah. listening to your, you know, great insights. Start thinking about government affairs and what's coming from government as a very important insight into what you're investing in, into the future of the market. You know, we know from Gartner, in cybersecurity, compliance is about 50% right. of what this is paying on. So, you know, I think we are just trying to become that platform to enable that capability to more entities, but I just would, would really, really love to empower our audience to start engaging in this conversation. Okay, well that, that, that makes perfect sense, and I think that my takeaway here is that if you're working in this space, if you're innovating in this space, you're excited about your AI capabilities, you're working on building a customer base, don't forget some important things along yeah. the way. And one thing that is absolutely going to run, you're going to run into yeah. is government regulations. And we are, this is a wild, wild west right now. Yeah, especially on AI. Right There's now, the government is shaping it as we're deploying it. And, and not only the United States government, the European right. government, right. all that sort of thing. Yeah. So you, if you need a wingman, you know, it's, you need open policy group. Absolutely. You know, reach, reach out to us and work with, you know, unicorns, best in class companies, armies, Tightworks, Hidden Layer. We would love to hear from you. Um, and we are in those venues. You know, we are participating yeah. in the White House executive orders. We're working with the European Commission. So um, I, I really want to empower unicorns that they can have a voice, right? Their perspective is important and they can drive impact. And we are here to support that. I love that. So one of the things I love so much about the work that I get to do all day, every day is that I wake up in the morning and I, by the time the day is over, I learn about a completely new offering and something that I never thought of, that I never considered before. This is wonderful and I'm really looking forward to being able to, you know, pick up the gauntlet and to try to help share your message because it is super, super important. So, Open Policy Group, Amit, you've been wonderful. Thank you so much for making time to join me today. And we will include some information in our show notes about where you can check out the Open Policy Group. This is Shelly Kramer from The Cube here at RSA. The Cube After Dark, the place to be for enterprise tech news. And we'll see you next time.